this is a super easy way to make a pocket and a part using Inkscape and JS Cut. I had to make some parts recently for some clocks and this is a very easy way to do it. So let's start with just a shape, starting with a circle and say we want to cut a pocket in the middle for a square. So we're just going to make a square in the middle. Give this a different color. So we'll make that red. And that's basically it. This is an easy way to make a pocket in the center of the circle. The next thing that should probably be done is some tabs. So let's do some tabs. So we'll just make a few of these tabs. And then we'll put these on the side. And there's our part. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this out of a three quarter inch piece of pine. So this will be an outside cut. This will be our pocket inside. In my case, I was using this for clock parts. And then these will be tabs so we don't cut through. So let's just save this. Circle with square and tabs. Circle with square and tabs. Let's open up JS Cut. And then we'll go ahead and define our toolpaths. So this is going to be circle with square and tabs. This is the shape that we just did. So we're going to give this a cut speed. I've been doing about 60 for this and it seems to work pretty well. 60. We're going to make our path depth 0 0.0625. I'm going to use a 1 8 inch cutter end mill so that'll be fine there. And we click on our whole shape create an operation. We're going to do the outside. And since this is a three quarter inch piece of pine, I'm going to make this a little bit deeper. 0 0.78, 0 0.79, make sure we totally cut through. Generate. And then here's our cut line. Then we're going to do our pocket here, so we click on this. Go to create operation. This is a pocket. And we'll make this one about a half an inch deep. That's about what I was doing before. So there's our pocket. And then these are our tabs. So we'll click on these. And then this is when we use this function here. Make each of these tabs about a half an inch tall. Create tabs. And that's our whole part. We can simulate it. And we can see here's our pocket. We can see some of our tabs peeking through here, and if we look on the back side, you can see the tabs that we made and cut out. And that's our part. It's that simple. It's that easy. It works really, really well. Save our code. Save it whatever you want. Open it up in Mock or whatever program you're using for the CNC, and you're good to go. This will actually tell you how long it takes to cut. And you can pull this back and erase the whole cut and see how it works. We'll go forward with it. So this is JS Cut at jscut.org. Fantastic program. And this was designed in Inkscape, which is free as well. Works great. Thanks very much for taking a look.